Hello and welcome back to 5 Minute Materials, the show where we demystify every node in the Unreal Engine material graph. Today, we're going to be looking at a cheeky little node called the Per Instance Fade Amount. So, jumping straight into it, what is this node used for? Well, if you're using any kind of foliage in your scene, whether that's uh, a part of your, you know, grass, landscape grass type um, output and stuff, so this like, you know, generated grass and whatever, or if it's pre-placed foliage in your scene, then you'll know that you get this cull distance setting, uh, which has a minimum and a maximum value. So if I get my bushes here, and I just say to them, okay, your minimum's gonna be 1,000 units, and your maximum's gonna be, I don't know, 3,000 units, you will see that as we start to move away from these, um, they just kind of disappear, right? Looks kind of garbage, not very useful, um, they're not really fading out. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the material of our foliage, or whatever is, you know, fading out, and we're going to grab the per instance fade amount node. Wow. Now, if you're smart, you won't be using translucency for your foliage, uh, except in very rare cases. But what we're going to want to do with this 99% of the time is put it into a dither AA node. And then we're going to multiply our opacity mask by this. So whatever's going into our opacity mask, you know, you might have some texture for your, your um, foliage and whatever. Um, we're just going to multiply this by that end result. We minimize and have a look at our foliage. And it looks, you know, as normal. But you'll see that as we get out to a thousand units away, that these are going to start fading out smoothly. Um, and by smoothly, I mean it's using dither AA. And this is based on distance as well, not by screen space. So if I zoom in here, you can see that they fade out until they kind of pop out of existence. Um, the reason they pop out of existence like that is because the dither pattern by default in Unreal doesn't have a very good pattern on the, the lower end of it. Um, it might be better if we set this to not be the random pattern and instead use the more uniform pattern. So again, if we go here... Okay, that, that's better. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's better than them just popping out of existence. So if you're a player, um, and you had some foliage that was really far away or some grass that was really far away. It really helps to make the the popping in and out uh, less obvious, I guess. So what this is actually doing, this node, is that it's returning a one to zero value based on the, the cull distance that you've set in your foliage. So, you know, we, we could use this for something dumb as well, just to demonstrate. Uh, we could have our foliage going from zero to one in its color. So now you can see as I go from, you know, being close to it, it's one. And then as I reach here, it'll turn black and then it'll fade out because it's reached the end of its cull distance. The reason we use Dithered AA is because it's super, super cheap. And you're going to be doing this on a lot of overlapping foliage and whatnot. And the dither effect is a screen space effect. If you want to learn more about dithering, check my video out here. Now, if we wanted to do this to our grass, all we would have to do is go to our landscape grass type thingo and go to our grass. And then all we would need to do is go to the start cull distance, 3000, end cull distance, 5000. And we just smack that in here. So that's going to do it for today. That was the per instance fade amount node. Basically just creates a one to zero gradient based on the cull distance that you set in the foliage tool or in the landscape grass types. If you found today's video educational or entertaining, make sure that you like this video to get it out to more people. Subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with more tutorials and videos and me just kind of rambling uh, for a few minutes. And if you do want to go one step further in supporting these videos, these tutorials, you know, the entire YouTube channel, you can do so for as little as $1 per month in our Patreon, which is linked down below. So I guess with that, I say goodbye.
Goodbye.